Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to build a basic guessing game in Python. And in this guessing game, we're actually going to be using all sorts of cool programming structures that we've learned up to this point in the course. So we're going to be using things like if statements and while loops and variables and all these cool things in order to build this game. So the basic idea is we will specify like a secret word. So we'll have a secret word that we store inside of our program and then the user can interact with the program and try to guess the secret word. And so what we want to be able to happen is we want the user to be able to keep guessing what the secret word is and keep typing in different responses until they get the secret word right. So that's the basics of what this game is going to be. And now let's go ahead and create it. So the first thing we want to do is create a variable to store our secret word. So I could say secret word and we're just gonna set this equal to a secret word. So why don't we make it draft? That's a pretty good secret word. And now what we wanna do is we wanna create a variable that will store the user's response. So I want a variable that will store like all the guesses that the user makes. So I'm just gonna call this guess and I'm just gonna set it equal to an empty string right now. So now we have the secret word and we have a variable to store the user's guess. And what we need to do is we need to be able to prompt the user to input the secret word. But here's the catch. What we want to happen is we want them to enter the secret word. And if they don't guess it correctly, we want to prompt them to enter it again. And so we can't just use a single input statement. We actually have to use something called a while loop. And we can use a while loop in order to continually ask the person to guess the word until they guess it correctly. So let's go ahead and create our while loop. So I'm going to say while. And after I say while, I need to specify a looping condition or a looping guard. Basically, this is something that as long as it's true, we're going to keep looping through this loop. So basically, I want to say I want to keep looping as long as the user's guess is not equal to the secret word. So as long as they haven't guessed the secret word, I'm gonna keep going through this loop. And inside of this loop, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask them to input the secret word. So I can take this guess variable and I can set it equal to input. And I'm just gonna say enter guess. And so over here, we're basically telling the user to enter in their guess. I'm storing whatever they enter inside of this guess variable. And then what's going to happen is we're going to come back up here. We're going to check to see if the guess is equal to the secret word. If the guess isn't equal to the secret word, then we're going to do it again. But if the guess is equal to the secret word, then we're just going to break out of this loop. And so we can come down here and we can just print out a success message. So I could say you win because they got the secret word. So this is a very, very simple program, but this is essentially all of the code that we need to be able to build a game like this. So let's go ahead and play our game. We can run it and see how we did. So I'm going to click play and down here you can see it's prompting us to enter a guess. So I'm just going to type in some, you know, random text. We can type in whatever we want. And as long as we're not entering that secret word, it's going to keep prompting us to enter different information. But if I enter in the secret word, so if I enter in draft, now all of a sudden the program is going to terminate and it's going to say, hey, you win because we were able to guess the secret word. So that's like a really cool way for us to be able to do this. And we actually have a fully functional guessing game. But I think this guessing game could actually be improved quite a bit. A lot of times when we're making a guessing game, we want to set a limit. So in other words, I want to set a limit for the number of times that the user can try to guess the word. So let's say that the user has three tries, right? They have three guesses in order to guess the word. And if they can't guess the word after three tries, then they're going to lose the game. But if they can guess the word inside of three tries, then they'll win the game, right? I think that would be a little bit more of a fun game. So why don't we try to program that game? Basically, we're going to set a limit on the number of guesses that the user can have. In order to do this, we're going to have to create a couple more variables down here. In other words, we're going to have to store a couple more pieces of information. 
The first piece of information I want to keep track of is how many times the user has guessed, right? So we can just make a variable called guess count and we'll just set this equal to zero because initially the user won't have guessed. Down in this while loop, every time we go through the loop, I want to increment that guess count, right? So every time we've gone through this while loop, I want to increment that count because that means the user will have guessed. So down here, I'm going to say guess count plus equals one. And this is just going to add one to the guess count actually. Whoops. All right. So after each iteration of this loop, we're going to go ahead and add one to the guess count. All right. So that's the first variable that we're going to need. We're also going to want to store another variable and this is going to be called guess limit. And basically this is going to tell us how many times the user can guess the word. So I'm going to, it's going to be guess limit and we'll basically just say three. So let's say that the user has three tries to guess the word three strikes and you're out. So the user, if they can't get it in three tries, then we're going to basically say that they lose the game. And I'm also going to need one more variable here, which we're going to call out of guesses. And I'm just going to set this equal to false initially. So this out of guesses variable is going to be a Boolean. And it's going to tell us whether or not the user is out of guesses. So if out of guesses is true, that means they have no more guesses, right? They basically lost the game. And if out of guesses is false, that means that they still have some guesses left so they can keep playing. All right. So let's use these different variables in order to make our program more functional. So the first thing I want to do is when I go through this loop, I want to check to make sure that the user has more guesses. Right. In other words, before I let the user enter a guess, I want to check to see that they haven't already used up all their guesses. So down here, I can make an if statement. I can say if and inside of the condition, I want to check to see that guess count is less than guess limit. If guess count is less than guess limit, that means that they haven't guessed the total number of guesses that they have. So they have some guesses left. And if that's the case, and if that's true, then I'm going to go ahead and give them a guess and then we'll increment the guess count. If this isn't true, in other words, if they have reached their guess limit, then I'm going to want to set out of guesses equal to true because they're out of guesses, right? They have no more guesses because the guess count wasn't less than the guess limit. And so that means that they're out of guesses. So they have no more guesses. So there's actually uh, one more thing we need to do inside of this while loop. We need to add another condition onto this loop guard. So right now we're going to keep looping as long as the guess is not equal to the secret word. But remember, if the user's out of guesses, in other words, if they've reached their guess limit, we don't want them to guess anymore, right? So if they ran out of guesses, then we want to basically break out of this loop and not give them any more guesses. So I'm going to go ahead and add another condition onto here. And I'm going to say, while they haven't guessed the secret word and they're not out of guesses, so it's going to be not out of guesses, then we're going to keep looping. So as long as they haven't guessed the word and as long as they still have some guesses left, we're going to keep looping. But otherwise, we're going to break out of the loop. And so down here, we're printing out you win. But actually, when we break out of this loop, there's going to be two possible scenarios. So again, there's two possible ways that this loop could end, right? Either the guess is equal to the secret word. So either the user guessed the word correctly or the user ran out of guesses. And so there's two situations down here that we need to account for. And so I'm going to use an if statement to figure out which is which. So I'm going to say if, and we're just going to type out of guesses. And if the user is out of guesses, then I want to print out of you lose. So we're basically going to be like, you lost the game. Otherwise though, if they're not out of guesses, that means that they guessed the word correctly. So we're just going to print out you win. All right. So now we have all of the logic for this little guessing game set up and let's see if we can run it and play through it. So I'm just going to run this program 
and now it's gonna tell us to enter a guess. So why don't we enter more guesses than we have? So we're gonna try to lose the game. So I'm just gonna enter one guess, two guesses, and now I'm on my final guess. So if I don't get it here, we should actually lose the game. And you can see it says, out of guesses, you lose. So we weren't able to guess it in the number of tries that we had. Let's run the program again and we'll try to win the game. So we'll get a couple wrong. Let's say we're on our last guess and I'm like, okay, I can do this. So I type in the word and bam, we won the game. So that's how we can basically create a game where we have a guess limit. So this is a lot of code. Let me walk you guys through this one more time so you can just get a full understanding of what we're doing. Up here, I created a few different variables. We created this secret word variable and we created this guess variable. Then we also created some more variables. So we created this guess count variable. And this just keeps track of how many times the user has guessed the word. And you can see down here, every time we give them a guess, we're incrementing the guess count. We also have guess limit. And guess limit is telling the program how many times the user can guess. So before I go through this while loop, the first thing I'm doing is I'm checking to see that the guess count is less than the guess limit. In other words, do they still have some guesses left? If they do, then we're gonna get the input from the user. Otherwise, we have this other variable up here called out of guesses. And out of guesses is gonna tell us whether or not they have some guesses left. So if this is equal to false, that means they have some guesses. If it's equal to true, however, it means no more dice, no more guesses, they are done. So they lost the game. The last thing we needed to do was specify an additional condition up here. So we are gonna keep looping through the code inside of this loop as long as the conditions up here are true. So as long as they haven't guessed the word and as long as they're not out of guesses, we are going to keep looping through. And so when eventually the user does break out of this loop, there's gonna be two possible situations. The first situation is that they ran out of guesses. And so we wanna to check to see if that's the situation. I wanna to check to see if they're out of guesses. If they are, we'll print out a lose message. If they're not, then they must have guessed it correctly, so they win. And so that is how we can use while loops and if statements and also variables in combination with each other to build a pretty awesome guessing game. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.